years I've lived in the land of the Cumbria and gazed into the flames seeking truth. For nine years I've sat by the banks of the rivers and watched the waters ripple and their light shimmering in the evening. And I've returned now to this land to talk truth to power to bring light back to darkness. I am Thomas, the bard of Britain, the peace druids of Britain. Come to talk truth in a forest of lies. Come to hold light back to its source and show what can be seen still in spite of the darkness. I saw that light comes from the darkness. It comes from the deep emptiness, the nothingness, the no place beyond time, beyond space. When we honour that, light comes, life lives. When we fear that, when we fear dark, all is lies. Balance goes. In this struggle of black and white, dark and light, there is no truth. There is a simplification that brings destruction and death to the balance of being. In the flames I saw darkness and I saw truth hiding amidst the lies. And the news, the news is old. Pretty easy to. <laughs> there is no news. Or like there is only the old, dark. <laughs> Within us all, honour it, and peace comes. What else did I see in the nine years span? In the darkness, I saw the stars and the high street home to heaven. Our high streets are low. Our lives need lifting home where we're sourced from. Spirit is lost. Spirit is gone from here. We spend our lives buying and selling cash for cash. But the soul of man is weary, breaking, stretched into a void that means nothing. And we yearn for some height, some depth, some meaning. That comes from seership only, from the eyes high seeing within. And that must return for peace to return.
Here is art. As I sat by the river and watched shimmering water, I asked, where does art come from? What is its meaning? I heard in the bubbling sounds of the river, nine muses singing softly the Arwena. They bring art to earth. They make us and mould us from within our soul's fire, which takes form as colour, as sound, as rhythm, as patterns, as sculpture, as dance, as the world. That is art. That moulding and shaping from beauty to beauty that light returning back to itself, ever giving, ever renewing. And that is life itself, for life, art is. A druid. A druid, there you go. A very handsome druid. Oh, right. He's got a beard. Oh, oh, oh. He's a piece. He's better if he had a beard. Oh, cool. <coughs> He's got a star. Yeah, of course. He's, He's got a nice stick that he could beat people with. What is this for? It's falling asleep. <laughs> Sure. Well, I'll give you um, my he, address. Yeah? He's a druid of peace. He's a druid of peace. Give me the address. Watch. Put, 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 put. What's your reaction to this moment? Right, GU31. Sit on a team. Sit there. Yeah. Yeah. What's he want to drink? <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't call him a bad one. No, no, no. Okay. Wandering into this sanctuary, we find solace of intelligent men. We find discourse and reason here in the wilderness of the high street. We find truth and courage to know the fortitude of learning, inquiry, and wonder. Remember this meeting, for it augurs well. May this pub be blessed and always have within it people not afraid of truth. Where a druid is honoured, good fortune follows. And so we come to the word, wisdom, bunched into books. All the world's texts battle for supremacy. The Quran, the Bible, the Vedas, the Sutras, Darwin, Huxley, Wallace. Each book elbows its way preeminence saying, I am that one. I, the Guru Granth Sahib, am the final. I, the Quran, am that one. When I gazed into the flames in Wales for nine years, in the belly of Keridwen, I saw the truth that each page, each leaf, each word comes from one source. None has supremacy. Each has part of the flame that flickers briefly in an instant and then is gone. No one book 
it says more than another. It depends on the mind and the soul and the heart of the reader and the speaker. It's the listening we bring, the truth within, that makes the book's meaning. The book itself is food for flames one day, and the final conflagration. For we have fallen stardust here, passing briefly through the true book of life all around us, the liberation from suffering. That is the balm I bring from Kerrigan. Thank <laughs> you. 